Welcome to 227 Division Street in Bennington, Vermont. From the front door, you walk into the foyer that has this incredible staircase. I love these original wood details. This is a tiled entry and an old fashioned original front door with the doorbell. So let's take a walk through the first floor. It is a really beautiful turnkey move-in ready home. You first enter the living room and you can see these large windows, lets in tons of light, lovely archway that connects the living room to the dining room. And you can appreciate the beautiful refinished hardwood floors that run throughout this space. They go through the living room as well. We just have a very large area rug, making it feel nice and cozy in here. That is plenty of room for a large entertainment center. This one is actually up for grabs if you'd like to make an offer, including some of the furnishings, or you could put your big screen TV here. So from here, I'm gonna show you door number one. We've got a separate laundry room. These appliances are going to stay. We've got these Samsung uh, newer machines. There's also a counter here for folding and organization, some storage in the cabinetry. There is also a utility sink in here. Two big windows, it's nice and bright. Then back through the dining room, door number two, we have the first floor three quarter bathroom. So this is the tiled floor, same as the front entryway. There is the corner shower. Nice, simple white vanity. Satin nickel finishes. And then we're gonna flow through another archway into the kitchen. So while this looks very similar to the flooring in the bathroom, this is actually a vinyl plank floor back here in the kitchen. So you've got stainless appliances. There is a French door refrigerator, flat top electric range, and there is also a new dishwasher. From here, you've got the view out to the backyard, all kinds of parking back here. Plus there is a large storage shed. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. You can appreciate they've cleared a lot of trees out of this yard. It used to be really overgrown. A few of them were pretty close to the house. So they've done some expensive, fantastic tree work to open up this backyard. There's also fences on both sides, really. You have a, a neighbor fence here and a neighbor fence on this side. So you've got a, a long, very functional backyard. So here in the kitchen, we also have casual eat-in space. Uh, the Butcher Block countertop island is fantastic. It's got uh, all kinds of drawers in here. They've also run a new outlet. So if you're someone who likes to, you know, have an outlet either for uh, charging your phone uh, or maybe you're just trying to use a hand mixer or something else here at the island, very functional. There is also a large pantry closet. Right now we've just got all kinds of stuff in here, or you can just make it for a hanging closet if you want a place for your coats to go. But whether it's a pantry or hanging, really functional. There is also a back door here. We've got steps with a handrail out to the backyard. So if you're someone who's got a dog, you know, this is probably gonna be the everyday door for the dog. Lastly, here in the kitchen, I wanna point out there is a white subway tile. This is a beveled tile backsplash. And the counters, I know they might look like there's some kind of a, a stone, but they're not. These are actually a Formica countertop that have had a, a refinishing uh, done to them over the years. Okay, this is the door to the basement. I'm gonna do a separate video when I have my shoes on for that. So stay tuned for the basement. It's not to be missed. So back through the dining room and the living room, through the foyer, Let's go upstairs. Three bedrooms and another bathroom up on this level. 
I actually had to close this blind because the sun coming through here was just so powerful. It's a beautiful sunny day. So the sellers have had new carpet installed on the stairs and in the hallway. This is a very nice, neutral, soft gray color. Pairs perfectly with the gray walls. So first bedroom here, you can see the hardwood floors. You have a soft, pretty, sagey green color. All the trim is white. I'll point out that you have period details like the glass knobs, acrylic. This one also has a locking mechanism on here with a key. So if you needed to have this be, say, a home office space, um, or just for whatever reason, you needed to have some privacy to this room, you've got it. All the bedrooms have good storage. So this is a nice long closet. The wood floors run throughout. So this room is on the front of the house. So from here, you can get a pretty good vantage uh, point to look over at the neighbor's yard right there. There are really nice new sidewalks here on Division Street. And you are a stone's throw to the track. Uh, the high school field is right over there if you want to cheer on the Mount Anthony Patriots. All right, so now we've got the full bathroom upstairs. We've got a tile floor. I do wanna point out, just because I always like my videos to be um, very transparent, you know, we do have some missing grout, you know, here. So this piece is kind of loose. Nothing that's not a, a simple fix really, but just wanted to point that out to you. Uh, so we have a, a single vanity here. The potty is around the corner. And we do have some grab bars here just for you know, ease of getting up and down, lots of natural light in here. Plus we have overhead lights uh, as well as a fan. Oh, uh, you know, I say that and then I go, oh, here we go. There it is. The switch is out in the hallway. Shower uh, with a tub. This is just a simple uh, fiberglass, you know, tub shower surround. Again, you've got the satin nickel finishes. And up here you have both uh, a hand shower, actually this is a chrome um, up here, but you've got a hand shower and a fixed shower head. And then there is a curved bar there. All right, bedroom number two. We're on the back of the house here. A couple more windows. So here we're looking out to the back of the house. You can see the slate roof from here. It's in fantastic condition. This is a queen size bed. So wanted to make sure you know just how big of a bed this is. If you only have a full or a twin, it will obviously fit better in here, but you can fit a queen size bed. And then we do have another very similar closet with just a simple bar and a shelf and the beautiful floors run throughout. And then lastly, upstairs, we have the room that just keeps on going. So we have what used to be bedroom number three, but now this has really become more of a dressing room. And then the attic over the kitchen is what has actually become the bedroom. So use this however you want. If you don't feel comfortable sleeping back here, you don't have to. Uh, the current owner has, the owner before her did. Uh, again, this is a queen size bed. There is a window behind uh, that headboard. Uh, some nice sconces, which actually have a little control uh, remote for them, which is very convenient. This is a very, uh, you know, steep roof line here. Uh, so back in the day, this was actually an attic, but it does make for a great bonus space, whether you want it for an office, a bedroom, playroom, or just simply storage. So back through to this room, I want to point out that these uh, cabinets can stay. Uh, if you are interested, it would be fantastic because they just add so much extra storage in here. So you can have more hanging space. Maybe you just really have always dreamed of having a walk-in closet and that is basically what this room is. 
uh, in addition to the two wardrobes, we do have a real closet in here as well. You can see that there were shelves at one point, but now there's just simply a hanging bar with two shelves. Okay, that is it for the main living space. I hope that this has been enlightening. You can see the beautiful hardwood floors that are underneath the area rug. Again, keep in mind that most of the furnishings are up for keeps. Uh, if you would like to make an offer, including the furnishings, sellers do have a price in mind. It is beautifully outfitted right now.